<laughs> well done, ladies. I know we're talking underwearness today with Dr. Berman. Of course, you, Cheryl Underwood. I have to say, I love your hit show, The Talk. Did you know it would be your destiny that you would be on TV? Uh, I would say I would have hoped that it would be my destiny among other things. But, you know, when, uh, what did it say? When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. So because I'm a woman who suffers from bladder leakage, you know, it was great that Depend developed this Depend Silhouette Active Fit Brief, especially for me. I'm going to believe that it was done especially for me. Why? Because the two colors, the beige and the black and the feel of it, it feels like uh, real underwear and something that I love, free samples. And freedom. Yes. Well, I, well all, all of our people love freedom. Especially well, on I didn't mean that. What? I meant freedom to live happy, vibrant yes. lives. Yes. So, I mean, bladder incontinence or urinary leakage affects 51 million women. That's yes, one in three does. women. So it is a privilege for me to be here with a woman who's funny and smart and who owns it and really talks about a problem that's embarrassing. That's for shame. some, yes. For many. And you, the fact that you're out here with such authority and with such confidence mm -hmm. is really helping a lot of women and that's why I'm here to raise awareness. It's National Women's Health Week and we're talking about a very embarrassing, shameful, taboo subject to raise awareness for bladder leakage. Yep. But -bum -bum. Well, I'm certainly glad you have and Dr. Berman, how common are these medical symptoms? So it is extremely common, 51 million women, that's one in three women. And the reasons why women struggle with incontinence are many, you know, postpartum after babies, mm -hmm. aging and menopause, mm -hmm. diabetes can that's even me. be a cause, mm -hmm. prior surgical intervention or a medication. That's me. So it is extremely common, mm -hmm. and the ty there are, two, there are two several types. different types of incontinence. One is called stress incontinence, and mm -hmm. that's leakage of urine when you cough, laugh, sneeze, mm -hmm. jump, ride a horse, sometimes that happens to me, right. um, playing tennis or golf, so any sort of strenuous activity. And there's also urge incontinence, incontinence, which is a uninhibited bladder contraction where the bladder squeezes or contracts without your permission. Mm -hmm. And that's what Cheryl struggles yes. with. And that's really debilitating because it happens at any time yes. without her uh, yes. you know, control. Yes. So this product, Depend, is really helpful. There are medications and there are other options. So if a woman is struggling, or a man for that matter, is struggling with bladder leakage, it's very important that you talk to your healthcare provider, A, to determine that there isn't any mm -hmm. other medical causes going on. Yes, but I think people should pr try this product first and then go to your doctor and go, okay, uh, maybe something that can help me further. But this is a great product because for me, I've tried this first, went to the doctor and, you know, doctors will say, well, maybe you need to try this medication or that medication. But what happens on the drive to the doctor office? What happens while you're out playing well, golf Well, it does give you an option before, but, you know, she, she brings up a really important point because she, Cheryl had a side effect due to the medication. So medication is not an option for her. Mm -hmm. But for many women, it is. So this product gives you a solution, A, to get to the doctor, B, to sort of to know that, you know, you're not alone out there and there yes. are options but it is extremely important that you speak to your health care provider anytime there's a problem with urinary leakage. You want to make sure you don't have yes. an infection, a kidney stone, any other causes that can cause um, disruption in your urinary And no flow. shame. No shame. I'm out here dating. I'm having a great time. I'm socializing. And you would never know that I had bladder leakage except for when I'm coming on TV <laughs> on your show to tell people that. Google me and, and see how much I am the bomb. Oh, we already know and we love you for it. And doctor, before we go, we know you're world renowned for sexual connections and discussing the uh, intimacy uh, topic. What advice would you give to couples out there to kind of reignite that passion in the bedroom? I think, you know, that it's one is permission to, to sort of accept that things ebb and flow, but as couples age, and from the standpoint of a healthcare provider, take care of yourself, your health, your diet, mm -hmm. exercising, your body, feeling sexy, feeling active, Okay. Cheryl is a perfect example of that. Yes, you know, I getting, am. Wearing, having incontinence or a medical condition that affects 
your self-esteem can affect sexual health and intimacy. So keeping your sex alive, talking, keeping the doors open, making your relationship a priority, taking Viagra if needed, and you know. Well, role playing works for me. That's why I have different wigs and different outfits. You know, I just do what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? And What's eating, your favorite role? Uh, myself. <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm gonna play her. I love it. You guys are super sexy ladies. So glad to have you with us today. I can't wait to have your own talk show together because you're a hoot. I loved it. Thanks again. Thank you.